Where's Chef Buck? Okay, Chef Buck here, and today we're gonna cook up a plantain. Look at this old yellow plantain. Oops, I gotta cover up that. Striking. Although I got my hat on, so we're not gonna get my bald spot. <laughs> okay, what was I doing? Okay, we covered up my bald spot mirror. Plus, I got my hat on. Yeah, there you go. You know, because got it's your glasses cold. too. Do you want your what glasses on? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Don't I usually have my glasses on? I can't see without my glasses. Oh, right. So let's talk about what we're making today. What was I doing? Yesterday, when I was young, so many happy songs were waiting to be. Look at this old yellow plantain. We've been cooking up a lot of plantains, but they've been nice, green, starchy, savory plantains. But one of them got old. I bought this plantain like two weeks ago, maybe a little bit more than two weeks ago. And now it's gotten long in the tooth. It's nice and sweet and sugary. It's not as sweet as a banana. It looks like a banana, but it's definitely not a banana. But I'm gonna fry this up in a skillet and uh, make a Maduras. Looks pretty ancient, but there have been times when I've made these here and it's just been completely black. But this is still gonna be a little firm inside, even though it looks like this. But I'm gonna fry it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my skillet going. Let me see. We'll edit this part out a little bit. This reminds me of the time my grandpa lost his eyebrows. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, we'll edit that and it'll look like it came on the first time, but I've actually been trying to turn this burner on for the last 20 minutes. All right, drama queen. But I'm gonna go ahead and keep my skillet up. I've been using olive oil a lot for frying stuff up here, but for this, I'm gonna use coconut oil. I'm gonna use this much coconut oil. And while my oil is heating up, We'll go ahead and slice our plantain. So I'm just gonna whack off the end here and whack off the other end here. And this is pretty easy to peel. Now, uh, green plantain is very hard to peel, but this here just comes off like a regular banana peel, really. And even though it is very mushy and gushy, you know, compared to a green plantain, uh, it's still pretty firm. You know, if this was an actual banana that was this old, you know, it wouldn't have near the stamina that this has. I probably used the wrong word there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. But anyway, we're going to take our plantain and I'm just going to slice it into some little planks that I can fry up. Let's see, I'm going to get three on each side because that's about all that's going to fit into this skillet. But you can make them as, as thick or as thin as you like. But six will be good. Look at that. That looks kind of ancient. Like us. Come over here, camera girl, because we've been making a Tegrillo. I've got a Tegrillo recipe, and I think that's coming up this weekend. And by the time I edit this, the Tegrillo will be up, so I'll have a link down below or somewhere around, and you can go check out a green plantain recipe. And we've been making bolognes, too. This is the last bologna uh, that I have from the second batch that I made. So I don't think I'm going to have a video for this yet. But this is the stuff we've been making with green plantains. Because here in Ecuador, you can't turn around without running into a plantain. Well, especially for breakfast. Yeah. Because it's so filling. And they're so delicious. My oil will be hot enough right now. And this here is a very simple recipe. There's not much to do with this here. We're just slicing our ripe plantains and just frying them up in some oil. And you can use whatever kind of oil you like. But I do like coconut oil for this here. And I think I got my oil at a good temperature. It's not popping or it's not too lethal at this point. Well, let me see if I can squeeze this last one in here. Cause we're at an Airbnb. So, you know, we kind of got to use whatever equipment we can find. Although this is a pretty well outfitted place. I am going to put a little bit of cinnamon on these plantains because I know camera girl likes that, right? Aww. And, yeah. you, and you don't like the heat on here as much, do you? Not for the sweet ones, no. But uh, but I do. So I'm going to put a little bit. Oh, of jalapeno. Of heat, just uh, you know, any kind of any kind you like. You know, we put cayenne pepper. We put you know any kind of uh, dried pepper you want on here. Chili powder. But just a wee little bit, and I'll just do I'll just do three. So we'll have three with just cinnamon, and then we'll have three uh, with a little bit of heat on here. And so we're going to have some plantains 
and I'm gonna cook and I'm gonna serve them with some eggs and I've got some beans here. And we've been eating these beans. I made this pot of beans. <laughs> we checked into this Airbnb like four weeks ago. And not long after that, I made this pot of beans and it was this big. And just a couple times a week, I just heat it up and we have a little bit of beans. But we've been eating out a lot uh, oh, here yeah, in Cuenca so because many great options. it's kind of hard not to because they have such great deals. And the food is so good. Have we had uh, the sweet plantains out in here? Yes. I think twice. One with the uh, amoreso. But it's mostly been uh, the green savory plantains yeah. that we've been finding in dishes out and about. But I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit and let these continue cooking. And I'm going to serve it with a little bit of uh, cheese and uh, cilantro on the egg and then I'm going to sprinkle it with some raw garlic. Oh, to keep those uh, vampires away. That's it because we've been eating a lot of raw garlic, we've been eating ginger, we've been eating limes and lime juice because those are all good intestinal foods, right? What about plantains? Plantains are supposed to be good for you intestinally as well. The green plantains because it's a lot of fiber, right? It's fiber and there's a resistant starch in them. Yes. I forgot about that. There's fiber and then there's resistant All starch right. and then they, they get together and they form, I guess it's almost like a drill. Wonder Twin Powers activate. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and serve this with avocado and you know this accoutrement right here. We were going to do dragon fruit, but I think that's too much to go on the plate, isn't that's it? That's dessert. Yeah, so we won't do that, but we've been eating a lot of dragon fruit. You said you're going to do eggs. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because dragon fruit is supposed to be very good for your intestines, too. Oh, yeah. But let me take a look here and see what this looks like underneath here. Boom, boom, boom. Man, I'm not getting much color very fast. But we'll see. But I'm going to go ahead and, and throw it. And I'm going to put this one here on the outside since that's been cooking in the middle. And I'll put one of my outsides on the inside so that can get some color there. But I got a crowded pan here. You're doing very well with it. Ah, uh, you know, I'm not going to win a prize, but they're looking all right. But I don't know, how dark do you want these? I like them dark. Because sometimes when we get uh, these kind of fried uh, plantains, they are very dark. And sometimes they look just like this here. So you can cook them as much as you want to. And you can fry them until they're hard. No. You know, overly hard, or you can have them super soggy, soft. No, the whole... Part of the reason is sugar is coming out of the bananas and that can caramelize a little bit and add some color. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, they're kind of, they're, they're, they're firmer. You know, we get them sometimes where they're, they're kind of firm and you cut them with a knife and you eat them and they're very sweet and chewy and delicious. And sometimes they're almost like a goo. We had gooey <laughs> maduras before and those are very good. I like those, but I like mine actually to be a little bit firm. I mean, it's not a savory dish. Right. But I kind of gravitate more towards savory uh, than Camera Girl does. But the, I guess what I'm saying is there is no wrong way to cook these. You can eat them raw at this stage. When you get a green plantain, it's almost like a potato. And you have to cook it. You don't even want to touch your tongue to it. You don't even want to put it in your mouth raw and spit it out because just the taste of it lingers and will cause you all kinds of psychological trauma. What? So you have to cook a green plantain. These here, you should cook them. I don't know. Who eats ripe plantains raw? It's not going to hurt you, but it's not going to be as nice as if you cook it or use it in some type of recipe where you're cooking it. Because it's definitely not a banana, but you can cook a banana. You know, there are the mental, you know, hospitals are full of people that cook bananas. If you want to find out more about our Ecuador travels, uh, you know, I'll have a link down below and you can go over Slowpoke Travel, which is our travel channel. And uh, we're going to have all kinds of Ecuador videos up there. You can check out our Mexico videos and blah, blah, blah. But we're coming up on five weeks here. Mm -hmm. So we're getting ready, ready to do our one month uh, budget. Uh, for Cuenca, Ecuador, so what it's cost us to spend uh, one month here. Did you just burn the beans? You no, know, every time I heat these beans up, I burn them on the bottom of this pot because I forget about them. I uh, unstick my beans, but that's okay. You know, that's just going to add more flavor. Flav. What? I've been burning these beans all week and scraping the bottom of this pan. 
and it tastes more delicious. Every time I burn these things, they get tastier and tastier. Yeah, okay. All right. Let's see how my uh, my thingamabobs are going. Yeah, they're definitely getting a little bit darker. That's good. Now, so I'm going to flip them over one more time, and that'll probably be enough for me. I don't know if Camera Girl's going to want them darker. So we're almost ready. I'll start this burner and get my uh, and get my eggs going here on another skillet. Throw me a wee little bit of olive oil in there. Or a lot. A little bit of garlic in the oil since I got so much raw garlic. So we get some flavor flavor. Now this kitchen is small, like our old Seattle kitchen, but I don't like it as much for some reason. Ah. Burnt myself. Burnt what happens yourself. when you start bad mouthing the kitchen? It gets exactly. you back. Exactly. Alrighty. Let's put a little bit of beans on our plate. Is that gonna be enough for you? Yes, sir. Fiber, fiber. Are eggs weird here in Ecuador? They're just different. It seems like they have a thicker shell. A thicker shell, and when you get them fried, they have a, a slightly different texture. The whites do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's hard for me to cook a yolk without busting it for some reason. Oh, really? Yeah, I think You're so. You're very good at that. Yeah, well, not in Ecuador. I'm going to put in just a little bit of the cilantro, or I'll put all of the cilantro in here, and a little bit of the cheese, and I'll save a little bit to go on top. Stir my eggs up, and this already has seasoning in it, and it's a little bit spicy, but I think it's no. enough spicy to make it nicey. Chef Buck has something spicy? Star of the show. Is this the star? Yes. I guess so. It is Let's sweet. See. Look at that, that's a little dark on that side. That's how you there like it though, you isn't go. it? Yeah. So we'll give you this here one. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on top of your eggs and this one too. Do you want some raw garlic on your stuff? You're cooking. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of raw garlic on the beans, because that's really good for us. And it keeps the neighbors at bay. But anyway, if you wanna find the, the written recipe, uh, you can go over to myfoodchannel.com. <laughs> I'll have the link down below and you can go check out uh, some different kinds of plantain recipes. We got a number of them over on our website. Oh, we got to do a taste test. Well. I think I ate one of your non-spicy ones. Mmm. No, it's got a little bit of spice. <laughs> if you like a little bit of sweet, this is the way to do it. But if you like savory, check out our green plantain recipes. Bum, bum, bum. You should get it to be that color. It's got that little bit of caramelization. You it's like it dark perfect. like that? Yeah. Yeah, but it's very easy to prepare. Buy green plantains and then make some tigrillo, make some bologna, make some tostones, you know, make some nice green plantain recipes. And then if you have too many plantains and they get away from you and they get a little bit old and long in the tooth, then you can use it for uh, this kind of fried plantain recipe. Uh, but that's it. I'll have a link down below and you can go over to myfoodchannel.com and uh, print out all our recipes over there. Uh, check out our Patreon, check out all the links down there. We appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you next weekend. Yesterday, when I was young, so many happy songs waited to be sung, so many... Ah, shit. <laughs>